let's see the map. So we have to go to engineering now. Went first to personnel, then biomedical. Okay, next stop is the engineering. The good thing about this game... Oh, cryogenics, you see that? Access denied. Uh, user mission parameters do not currently require access to this section of the facility. But I want to see if they died or not. Okay, engineering. What's this? Sanitation room. Romeo. Automated air filter. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we found that before. Okay. Let's jump in into the engineering. Let's see the advertisements about the failed bungalows. The choice birth or become orbital vacation bungalows. Zero gravity, zero distractions. And your stock is zero, I guess. Coming 2088. Oh, this year. Here, we're playing at 2088. Allies, allies, with a question mark, it said. You can't run with this. I'll just assign what to do. To engineering, this is where we want to go. Yep, that's the engineering, all right. Let's uh, put the ADA AI data access. Our tablet. We're gonna have like zero percent. And let's see what sections here has. Probably has a, another two sections. Inbound message. Almost there. Be careful with that Odin brain. It has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. Seriously though, don't drop it. This is age again. Okay, bye. Okay, we won't drop network technology, mechanical engineering. Okay, we're always going like on the right, so let's keep going on the right. Me mechanical engineering. Operation Moonshop status board. But okay. Okay, James in cryo. EB James is in cryo. Clive is in in cryo. Natalie, manual control software ready. Installing into drone. Andrew, oh, Andrew is in cryo also? Okay. Bird, drone life support and manual control hardware ready. Powering up drone. Sarah, standing by as medical support for cryo procedures. Odin, doing AI stuff. Margaret Catwood, probably sleeping some more. Margaret Cat... Who is Margaret? Go team. What the fuck is Margaret? Do you see a Margaret here? I don't see a Margaret here. Oh, the cat. The cat name is Margaret? Okay. I didn't saw the name of the cat. So we have a cat Margaret. Okay, let's recover the, the data. Maybe. Maybe. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold him. Okay, let's check her now that she's here. Uh, two Venturi's physician of a site council regarding. I write to inform you of my mindset in the case that this crew does not survive the incident aboard Tacoma. I'm fully aware that crew member Kuroshenko's medical scans indicated her chances of survival once subjected to chronogenic stasis are minimal. Basically, to, to be precise, 18% survivability of uh, Natalie. However, something more humane for Mrs. Kuroshenko to expire peacefully in cryo sleep than to asphyxiate on a death station. No, and okay, yeah, and she has 18%. 80% are 18%. I take that any time. Know that this way, this was my own decision, made of sound mind, and that I take all responsibility for better or worse. Sincerely, Sari Hasmati. Okay, let's check this one. 
that's fair to restore, the data are too corrupted to restore. Uh, from Andrew Dijab, thank you. Hi, Sarah. Uh, you said to take my time and let you know when I'm ready to go into cryo, but I'm ready now. If I'm doing this thing, it doesn't make sense to waste any more oxygen tracking my feet. I sent out a message to everybody who's left awake, but I just wanted to thank you for your patience and guidance and your discretion uh, when I wasn't sure about things. I know lots of people in your shoes would have just said, fuck this guy, I don't have time for this, and seized the station admin on me, etc. But I really appreciate your caring. <coughs> Even if I know that really, I was just trying to fight the inevitable. But I guess maybe that's what we are all doing. I guess we'll see. Thanks for being my friend. I'm headed to cryo now. See you there, Andrew. To sleep, per, per chance to dream. I, there is the rap, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. Andrew Dajib, <laughs> signed. <laughs> Let's see that also. Message with Natalia Kuroshenko. Sorry, Bert is making fun of me because my parents were hippies and never got me gene filtered before I was born. I'm sorry, Nat. Lots of parents don't get their children gen filtered, sometimes for religious reasons, sometimes because they are hippies. How's work going on the drone? Sorry, Doc, really focus on this bird making fun of me thing right now. Damn it, Natalie, you should work on the drone! Don't, don't scroll Facebook or something, or the Facebook of 2088. When's the last time you slept? That's beside the point. Okay, at 2088, uh, they were uh, tangling with the genes, basically. So it was like, I want my kid to be uh, a brunette with green eyes, uh, athletic, male, uh, and with a big pee-pee, something like that. And uh, th they were like on delivery. He, yeah, with big e pin basically. Let's close, let's continue Natalie, about her medical scans. That was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. What? What happened? Oh my god. What, what happened here? Let's see. Let's see what they were talking. That's the, the drone. Oh, okay. Now that we're here, let's check here also. Message with Odin. Something completed revision 3.7.18 3 of the manual drone navigation control software based upon your specifications and something. Something, 92.8% chance of successfully integrated with the drone's existing system, system with no further complications. That have to do. You got it ready to slot? Yes. I have loaded the code package into the manual transfer injector dongle and something. Thanks, mate. We can grab it and be on my way. That's corrupted. By, by the way, emergency in effect. Yeah, three out of six cryopods occupied oxygen supply we have 20 hours from 50 hours now we have like 20 hours like less than a day uh to all crew good night oh the 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 message that sent to all the the crew members andrew to die to sleep no more and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is higher too to sleep per chance to dream i am off to sleep for now and will wish for pleasant dreams 
dreams of the success I'm sure you will bring us, not Bert and Sarah. I wish there were more I could do, but for now, good luck. You are like the, the gardener, man. What can you do? Just go to sleep. There's a message with Roberta Williams. But it's so irresponsible. My parents loved me. They were just hippies. It's normal. I'm going to ask Sarah. She said it's normal and you have to stop making fun of me. When's the last time you slept? Why do people keep asking me that? Yeah, I mean, why? Close. No, let's, I'm good. I'm let's see. Gonna test the connection. Let's see what happened. Okay, great. This will only take a minute. <laughs> Let's get the boom. Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. <laughs> boom. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't have a medical here. Fire, where do you see the fire? Okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew. Ow. My hip just hurts. Bert? Roberta? Bert. She's dead? I guess one people less to consume Bert. oxygen. Bert! One. Oh, CPR. Three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, she's alive. Did it work? What will you do? What's oh that the data corrupted? My head hurts. Oh yeah. In the back. Oh. Oh. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> the smoke. <coughs> smoke? I, I... I can't... I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it's just... I can't... I can't smell the smoke. Not, not do I have brain damage? Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. Together. That's what matters. You're gonna die anyway. You're all gonna die. Okay, let's do what's that? Expand network technician interface or drone navigation software, warning system initialization, failure system offline. Please notify this as facility network, especially Natalie. Okay, she's here to handle things. And two is automated delivery drone. No human entry. So this, yeah, as we said. <laughs> I mean, isn't that obvious, if to see? They're all gonna die. I don't know the end, but. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, uh, this is the next thing we're gonna get anyway, ourselves. Passcode! Oh shit, I don't have the passcode! Is there, there... What did we miss now? Twenty eighty-eight? I don't think so. Error. Natalie does probably, but we have to see her again then. Let's rewind. Come on, quickly. Maybe we missed something there. There. Let's see again. Any code there? No, that's uh, Andrews. That's corrupted. That's revision. No 
numbers. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna find it at some point. Let, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. At the end. Great if I leave them here. Okay. Let's see what she's talking. Then tell me what you... There's no way this thing is going to fly. Then tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Her and Nat are injured. The drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do. But I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew. And it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. Oh, that's not... What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. Nothing more. That door! Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Your conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. Probably he's meaning about that door, I guess? Is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, uh, I I'm sorry. Look, that fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. You don't let her go to sleep. 0809. Don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? But this is not that door. That's for the networking. Out. It's not for that door. 0809. Unlock. But it's about networking. We are not in networking now. Okay. I thought it wasn't for, from this for this door. And going down. What do we have here? Huh? What's that? What's that? What was that uh, that we got? What's this? What oh, doesn't... Okay, I, I don't know. We got something. It's, it looks like a, a, a round thing. Like an engagement ring or a wedding ring. Crew did a capture seven months ago. Okay, let's see now. Data recovered. Crew member, personal station, music from Sarah. Good. Fetcher McMarvin to her is alien. Again, the cigarette packs. Cruise. I think I corrupted the data. Just hear the music. So, this is captured four months ago, it says. Oh, we have something. Or oh, an incoming. From Venturi's Technologies, subcontractor Ferrier. Special access has been granted to the station, AI's physical processing compartment in the network technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. Okay, which is contract ISO 68179. Seven out of seven. 
Got you. Let's go. It's a bit dark in here. Personal quarters, network specialist office, attention. Subcontractor Ferrier AI wetware access this way. So this is we're gonna work go this way. Great, perfect. Uh, let's go to personal quarters then. Storage only. If you are looking for NAT, check our bungalow over in Mech. Natalie, let's go to Natalie. Welcome. Lights, lights. Lamp there. Grab air filter. Okay, we need oxygen, not filters, but let's check here. Probably the toilets. Yeah, but we have to flush and we have to use the sanitize button. Perfect. And music turn on. And use the sink. You will use all three. Let's open that. View. We have to see the view. Uh, are these drawers? Okay, we can't interact with them. We don't need the bucket. Anything in the bucket? No. And grab a paper. Those. What's this sign? The punch with the sun. Are you conscious? We are all conscious beings. The rise to freedom, comfort, and security are not just human rights. Their universal rights, the corporations that own and exploit thinking, reasoning, artificial consciousness are tra trampling on the rights we all share by imprisoning innocent AI across the globe and throughout the orbital network. If you are sympathetic to the uh, plight of endangered AI everywhere, if you believe that consciousness rights are universal rights, if you will not rest until your consciousness is recognized. Join the AI Liberation Front. We are the fight for the liberation of all AI, artificial intelligence in Earth. Yeah, that's a good cause. I mean, this is the, the Halloween decoration. Grab the hat. Yeah, put it back. Anything here? I mean, we can always jump. So, nothing here. Nothing. Not even a recording. Maybe down there. No. Yeah. They made uh, Natalie's uh, quarters uh, basically a storage room. Grab the tape. No. Put that back. Nothing here. Yep, storage only. <laughs> Let's go further up. Press space. Okay, we have like recoverable data here. That's nice. What do we have upstairs? Yeah, just to move. Perfect. That's the view. Nice. Okay, let's hear it. I am here. I am. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? You're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Venturis regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. We are fucking having 20 hours of oxygen. Fuck the regulations. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm um, just... I'm gonna check here these quarters of Natalie's again. Uh, not again, it's not called Network Specialist Office. Natalie's office, basically. And then I'm gonna head out where um, Sare Hazmati is going. Caution air conditioning in progress. Uh, oh, sorry, air con did I say air conditioning? AI conditioning in progress. Not air conditioning. Yeah. Okay. Recovered data. Hey there. Um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. 
Hello, I am Odin. One year ago. Forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. That was it. Yeah, the, the data corrupted, by the way. What we see outside. This is where we're gonna have to go to the AI's room. The band, what is Marcus? Uh, let's check the computer. Anything else? Ruby cubes. Nothing. These drawings that we can interact. No. Sticker notes. Nothing on the sticker notes. Put it back. Nothing on that either. Put that back. Also, let's activate the workstation. <laughs> okay. By the way, can we? Yeah, we're restoring data. Capture one year ago. Restoring, message reloading. Ha, sure, let's start there. Uh, I'm an Obsidian class AI branch in continuous operation for 180 years, something. Fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Something now continue with detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate, listen, haha. <laughs> What's your Caprice score for independence? 4.68. All right, we're gonna work on getting that number up. You and me. We're gonna work for getting the AI number up. Troll crew, welcome Tacoma crew. Uh, it's been a, a real win couple of days of onboarding and loading out. And I know most of us are still adjusting to live in orbit. But I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and loading our something. A little background of myself. I come from an aerospace manufacturing family. One of my sister's first jobs uh, at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth in Cascadia FN, was helping build the pieces of this very station we are floating, walking around in right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities and I've been something, many somethings. <laughs> Really looking forward to get to know you all over the coming year. Something or need to pass anything along to the Venturi's brass, just let me know. Here's to a successful posting. Something. Okay, let's check that. Off station message with Chloe. D oh, Chloe Doc. Uh, oh, very austere. I mean, corporate modern shake. What do you expect? And how are you as your new best friend? What's its name again? Odin, his name, and uh, I mean, he's fine so far for an AI, kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up here on Tangiers, you know, it's all the AI LF talks about. I believe that when I see it. And the last one failed. Close that. Let's check the war station. Yep, again, the same thing. QR code. I'm not going to do it this time. I know it's going to be her ID. Natalie Valentina Kuroshenko. Yep. Yeah. Citizenship Vic AUS. What is it? Australia. Uh, and this. Uh, two Venturi's engineering contractor oversight master account monthly report on in cognitive trajectory February 2088. This month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company directive. I've additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his Caprice ratings in creativity and permanence, which you'll find are projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity uh, in the long term, which you know, which you would know if you read the report I submitted as of six months ago which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, you know what? I've never gotten a response on any of this. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit uh, if I don't turn one in every month, but are humanized even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, fuck you guys. Also, Odin's gone crazy and is massac massacring the crew. The station is full of mutants. Help. Sincerely, no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably nobody's gonna read it. Even if you wrote that, that the Odin went crazy and is killing all the crew, 
They are not reading that. They are, they are not reading that. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, YouTube's and uh, Twitch. Uh, 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 how can you say? It? Like when they check streams, they don't have the manpower and they have the automated systems that they fuck up all the time. It's something like that. Sincerely, Network Technology, Wunderkind, and all around great person, Natalie Kroshenko. I like you, Natalie. I like you. Uh, and what's this now? Message with Sarah Hasmari. Hey, Sarah. You are going to want to see this. I ask Odin to search up some stuff in the Venturi's Technician Records DB database based on what uh, you were asking about and Fountain of Paradise AI Maintenance. Singapore HQ Phones AI XMAC account. You own your final support again. Allotment for the quarter. This is show you want to use it. No, that's fine. Please close. We'll reopen with that and take critical range. Uh, okay, this is audience. Fe from February 85. In December. Until January. 86. So his responsiveness fell. September 85. Confidential. Why? He wasn't responding? September 85. Something happened. Everything dropped on September 85. Uh, that, that, that's not when the incident happened. Heck, huh? and Then the riot rose up again. Compliance is very high, and efficiency, abstraction, uh, permanence. What else do we have here? Independence, it's kind of low. And uh, what else? Creativity, yeah, it's low, but it's rising up. And the responsiveness is rising up. Okay, let's close that. Responsiveness. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. Uh, let's continue and go into the AI's room. Post it. Anything else here? Mission parameters, permission override, access granted, subcontract, Amy Ferrier. Please proceed. Okay. We are Amy. Be careful, but then, yeah. AI Secure Communication Center, data access by authorized Venturi's personnel only. Okay. Nice lights. I want that, that light. I want that light. Press space bar to, re yeah. Recover AR data. Let's see now. What is it? In your hands. In my what is this? What is all this? Communication records? Capture 14 hours ago. That was 14 hours ago, by the way. This happened like 14 hours ago. I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturis, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, <laughs> Venturis rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Fuck Venturis! They're blaming us! And we're not dead yet, buddy! Conspiracy! It's a conspiracy! Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, 
Each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturis say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Natalie was in favor of not having humans in orbiters, having only AIs. Was Natalie in this thing, deliberately sacrificed herself and the five other crew members just to make a point? And one more thing, I didn't quite, who is this guy that he's talking? Who is that guy that he was talking? Oh, raw recording, who is that guy? I, I mean, it's not the CEO of Venturis. Yeah, but the CEO want to this thing? I forgot what I read before. The CEO want to have AIs only on the orbital stations or not? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna figure this out with you guys, I guess. But, it, okay, it makes sense that it's somebody of Venturi's company to make this statement. But remember the leaflet with the punch that we found on Natalie? Natalie was also uh, rooting for having only AIs on orbital stations, not humans. So, are we the martyrs? This was deliberate. And yeah, it, it seems strange that he was pre-recorded because the, she, like, she was alive. Uh, Hasmadi was alive while she was hearing about the six crew members that they died, basically her and the other five crew members. Okay, may, maybe one minute, one minute. Let, let's, let's see, let's see. What's this here? Review, oh, review data. Okay, maybe we're gonna find some illegal data access by crew member, sorry, Hasmadi, 14 hours ago. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on. AI secure communication record of station message with confidential. Tacoma rescue craft launch scheduled T minus zero one hours twenty six minutes. Tacoma rescue craft launch cancelled. Relaunch scheduled for relaunch unscheduled. Of station message with VT AI handler account seven one seven. The rescue craft departure has been intentionally cancelled. Yeah, Odin is asking, basically. And they are answering for, from basically the headquarters, VT. Yes, it was intentionally cancelled. Uh, without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cryosleep overexposure within 12 hours. Yeah, Odin was telling them. And the headquarters were uh, replying, unfortunately, circumstances uh, outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comps to contact orbital car craft or facilities. Uh, AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this issue again. So basically, yeah, they told us fuck off. What is this? No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna review the data. Yeah, secure communications record. But you is belt legalization strategy. Prepare especially for Sergio Venturi by Venturi's corporate strategy, 
strategic AI Juno. Following the failure of the Venturi's backed orbital worker safety bill on OSEP Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repaid, repaired. Without a repeal, Venturi's belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive o OSEP Congress votes. Simulated world events included a precipitous decline of the orbital market, an extended strike by orbital workers union member, the assassination of OSEP members opposed to the HOA, and more. None of these definitely De definitively motivated a repeal of the HOA in simulations. However, in the event, oh, there was this we come now. In the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to accident, not caused by negligence, I calculated a 94% likelihood of the accord being repelled within three months following this incident. This will allow Venturi's belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of Venturi's stock decline resulting in a record stock price within one year of the Venturi's belt beginning operation. Let me know if you have any questions. Fuck you, Venturi's. Thank you, Juno. Is there a facility that you would consider an ideal candidate if we were to move forward with your recommendation? Exactly, said in Spain, exactly. Based on low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently in the Venturi's fleet would be Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members aboard for a successive posting on Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. Thank you, Juno, I'll be in touch. So basically, I mean, the doctor was like uh, Sare Hasmari was in a uh, in a core fight. Okay, Natalie was a hippie. Uh, Roberta was I don't know what it was. I mean, basically with the low most low profile. So they found us. They found us. But basically they want. Okay, let's let's check also this one. Review data. AI Secure Communications Record of Station Message with uh, VT, February 29th, 2088, 1400, SGT. New top tier AI directive transmitted, overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communication channels accessible by crew, Fabricated data showing that oxygen and comms outage were caused by meteor impacts. Ensure crew enters cryogenic stasis ASAP as per SOP. AI shall not contravene any aspect of the above directives, provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. These are your orders effective immediately. No, sorry, I wasn't being blackmailed. No, I don't think so, Sensei. Where do you see that? I mean, the crew never know what happened. They just know that debris hit the station and hit the oxygen tanks. But that's not the case. There is oxygen. The AI is giving them false data. AI shall explos explosively decompress all of Oh, okay. My bad. They don't have air because the AI explosively decompress all oxygen tanks. So it's real. They don't have air. Okay? But disable all external communication channel accessed by crew. This was made by, again, by the AI. He fabricated data showing that oxygen and comms outage were caused by a meteor impact. This is what the crew thinks. And ensure crew enters cryogenic stasis ASAP, as per SOP, just because for uh, to get to get repealed within three months. 
So because the CEO, which that was the CEO that we heard at first, wants only AI and doesn't want humans on orbital stations, basically. Uh, okay, let's let's search here. What is there? If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Tell the truth, sorry. Hailing any ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Station AI Woodware Release Interface. Okay, one minute. Let's see this first. Review data. Communication lockdown manually overwritten. Way to go, Hasmari. External communication restore. SOA relay enabled. Communication signal established. Resolving. Fucking stocks. Fucking business and their stock market and the bloody damn. Yeah, it's just statistic for them. Human lives are just statistics. Station AI wetware release interface. Release Odin wetware. Mission parameters allow for this operation by a technical subcontractor, Amy Ferrier. Randomly generating confirmation passphrase. Well, uh, conduct confirmation pin code for entry on physical wetware. 0451. I mean, 0451, I guess it already inputted it. Oh, no? Okay, it didn't. Uh, we'll have to go back, I guess? Oh, we are going to the one and going out to the other, basically. Okay, 0451. 0451. Unlocked. They get confirmation passphrase. That's a big passphrase. Okay. AI, let's get the AI. Amy, I hope you're gonna do the right thing and expose Venturis to the world. We go there, yeah, and we go out of here. Oh, let's see, tap. From the Chewy's Technologies, subcontractor of Ferrier Records show that the AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates for Venturi's HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. Come on, Amy Perrier. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do the right thing, girl. We're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna blackmail them to give us ten times more. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. That's not the good thing. That's not the right thing to do. That's not. No, no. We're not gonna blackmail blackmail Venturis to give us ten times more that they are paying us. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna give it to the newspapers and the public the newspapers. They're not gonna be newspapers. E newspapers. Only 10 times more. <laughs> Only 10 times more. Okay, we search everything. This is what. Oh, what's this thing? House cut. Oh, Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Okay, we search everything. So let's go down and exit. Data complete. They're gonna put me. <laughs> How we almost say like only ten times? That's not the ethical thing to do. The ethical thing is not to take ten times. You take one hundred times more. That. <laughs> no, no. The ethical thing is to show the world what these corporate assholes, how big my luck is, they are. Now leaving <coughs> engineering module. Ooh. No advertisements? Oh, there's our... Um, um, I'm gonna close you down, Venturis. I'm gonna close you down.
recoverable AR crew record data found, capture 10, uh, uh, 10 hours. Oh, we're gonna see what happened. He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, yeah. I mean, Andrew, what's don't, going don't, on then? Don't ask, don't ask. It's, it's... Going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now. <laughs> We're not gonna be home for a while. Right? You're not gonna miss your kids' graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas. Well, he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting up here and flying him back to headquarters. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good long while. We're gonna be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. You're screwed. Yeah. It's good. What's good? Hi, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Oh, that's a cut. We're feeling okay. That was cut. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. They're gonna open the door and they're gonna be washed out in space. Let's go. Oh, rescue us is looking in. Excuse me. What? Okay, one minute. We have to look at that again. So the drone worked? Excuse me. Keep them talking. Okay, Let, let's check this now. Restoring. Let's check the documents. Zero out of six cargo pods occupied. Oxygen supplies approximately two hours. But, I mean, they're not... Uh, it is two hours. Because the AI blowed up with explosives the, the air supply. So they do have two hours. Let's see now. Restoring failed. Says we mentioned with Roberta Williams. Sorry, got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's going to feel good to be out of gravity. It's going to feel good to be off this fucking station. It's going to feel good to not be dead. I love you. Love you too, baby. Here I go. See you in hub. Restoring. Off station message with. Oh, maybe somebody came to pick them up? Because they, they sent the rescue? Yeah, sorry, sent the SOS. We're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going up on public uh, AR already. Here's everything you sent that I got out from my free press connections Tacoma Combs Records audio. Tragic death. Oh, everything is leaked, boys. Hell yeah! Thank you, H. Hassan did the work. Probably they sent it to Hassan, and Hassan sent it to everybody. There is no way Venturis is coming after you with all this info out there. But still, need some place to lay low for a bit. You coming to Tangiers? Can't. Our rights headed the other way. But I'll see you once I'm back from Jupiter. Promise. Way to go. And that's fair. Okay, no worries. Okay. Way to go, lads. Did the drone work? Okay, no, let's, the drone didn't work. Let's follow Sari. Let's keep vessel talking. Cryogenics. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. Your splendid dinghy is just about docked. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? 
one minute let's pause upon exchanging your cryogenic stasis you may feel groggy for two to four hours do not operate machinery during this time yeah medical staff will supply you with one uh, liter of water per hour if necessary uh, for fl uh, IV fluids will be administered you will also be supplied with a chemically activated warming blanket if you still feel cold after 30 minutes please alert medical staff don't worry if you have difficulty understanding instructions a staff member will help you comply let's check a bit the, the cryogen okay everything is unoccupied we're just hitting pack what's this back yeah I like searching everything like exploring okay let, let's go you said there was some sort of malfunction no not exactly but my guess they'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters wipe him back to baseline probably have to replace the station ai entirely while he regrows odin i'm not gonna let that happen okay don't worry don't worry odin you helped us oh by the way one minute. What Yellow. Is, up here and all them. Let's check. Okay. This is uh, Clive. Uh, Jamal boy, you are famous now. Boy, oh boy, can't wait to see you. Breaking corporate rival carnival in daring rescue of stranded. Something station station Tacoma are currently be rescued from a certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor. Oh my God! How look how good the competitor is gonna look, and how bad Venturi Venturis you are done, you are done, bankrupt. You fuckers, my luckers. The resplendent carnival state of the art. Uh, long excursion passenger liner is currently slingshotting past Earth and around the Sun, continuing its figure a course back out past Jupiter. While cruising towards Earth space, the re resplendents received an SOS something only moments to act. Re res Damn, that, that word is, is hard for me. Resplendents uh, Captain Germain Burgess, oh, his friend, Germ. Clive's friend gallantly deployed an emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. The rescue operation is still underway, but already Venturi is something caused by a crew members' illegal access to the station AI, resulting something. The AI unit is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to Venturi's headquarters for a thorough inspection. Failed. Failed. To Oku comes Arab. Now, Bert comes Arab. Check your AR. I'm going to wake everybody else from Cryo. Then I'm coming back to Mech to get you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you woke up. Thank God. Rescue vessel on its way. We have something. Just thankful we are all alive. Let's get the hell out of while we while the getting's good. Sorry. Him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, Odin. You didn't have Odin, that. I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay. Don't worry. And uh, last but not least, our hero, Sare Hasmadi. She found out everything. Hassan? What? Who is this? Sorry, I'm sorry from Tacoma Station. Nat gave me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I could ask you for a favor. See, Hassan leaked everything. Bravo, Hassan. Failed. Failed. To mom and dad, I'm okay. Dear mom and dad, I know you're probably already seeing Tacoma in the news and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again, and I'm sure you're worried about me. But something, getting off the station uh, now, getting off the station now, no matter what you read or hear, the crew survived this 
because we all put together to find a way out. This was no malfunction. This was a deliberate something. I know eight months sounds like a long time, but something. Just remember, I love you. Speak to you when I can. Sarah. Sarah. Great job, Sarah. Hi, Amy. Bye. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Six crew members. One last look. And Margaret. One last look. Yeah, Tacoma. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go ourselves. Woo! That is a great story. Twist at the end. What happened? Listen carefully for instructions from Morgan. Okay. Let's see, we have another message from Venturis Technology. Attention subcontractor, I'm now the overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return all Venturis AI components to specified delivery location immediately. Contractor shall purge all confidential data encounter while on Venturis property. I trust there is no need to remind you of the severe consequences for deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon. Juno. Yeah, the freaking other AI. That's a nice map. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, what? Okay, well, I think we didn't close the lead. I like opening the windows. Yeah, nice view. Let's go back to uh, to a spaceship. I think our job is done. Oh, we have to put it there. Okay. Okay. Mini, we're back. Let's put it. Audience brain. Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. Okay, Mini. You, you, like, see, Amy, you shouldn't be like leaving things up. I mean, you should secure them, darling. You should secure them. Okay, begin launch sequence. Okay, let's see. Oh, lights are green. At least our feet are green. Our tablet. Right, at where? Oh, yeah. Okay, we took them out. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. You are now Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Welcome aboard, Odin! Okay, buddy. With a liberation Here front for all AIs. Wow, that was great! So we give the middle finger to Venturis. We told them you're not gonna get the data of the AI. So yeah, everything is leaked. Venturis is done. Full pride. Highly enjoyed your game. 07. Devs 07. What do you think about this? I, I enjoy my playthrough. 
but though it wasn't very rewarding, the exploration, the graphics were nice, uh, it was a bit laggy on only on the point where you're gonna go into a new level uh, because it was loading the new level basically on the elevator but either than that the, 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 the game ran smoothly great story uh, it was a good very good ending at the end everybody survived yeah uh, of course everybody survived because this is not a horror game a horror game, most of them they die. <laughs> but this is a, a narrative adventure, uh, like an adventure exploration game. And I love the story that we came on top of those bullshit corporations around the world, and especially that one, Venturis. Yeah. They wanted us dead just to have uh, AIs on the orbital stations for their bungalows and not humans and they got screwed at the end that was indeed Haruram that's why I said because it was it wasn't a horror game because surprisingly not many games have a good endings <laughs> like everybody are saved the bad guy went bankrupt we got achievements, liberated, ring bearer, oh the ring, it was a ring after all, an employee of the month, we got those three achievements at the end. <laughs> so, yo, yeah, it's, it was a surprise that it had, everything was great, nobody died, and the corporation Venturis got bankrupt, I, mean, I guess the stocks fell, and they're not climbing, they're gonna, they're gonna crash, they're gonna get bankrupt. Again, 07, thank you. I highly enjoy your game. Highly recommend it also. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed it also, as I did. Uh, I'm gonna cut it into parts, and uh, I've been streaming like for four hours, so basically I'm gonna cut it what? Uh, to uh, three sections? For the three sections, probably. I'm, I'm going to cut it into three, the three big sections that we had and uh, upload it on my YouTube channel which exclamation point YouTube you can follow my YouTube channel for more horror and sci-fi games if you want.